Hello friends, this is Teacher JB. Uh, today we are going to study one idiom and five words. The idiom we are going to study is to pour oil on troubled waters. To pour oil on troubled waters, it means to make peace, to calm someone down. When I try to pour oil on troubled waters, both the angry husband and his wife stop their quarrel and begin to attack me to pour oil on troubled waters. The first word we are going to study today is batch er. It has two syllables and accent on the first syllable, batch. Batch er, badger. Badger. So badger is the animal you see on the screen, but as a verb it means to pastor, neck, Annoy persistently. Stop badgering me. I will do it when I'm ready. Badger. Badger. Next word is implore. Implore. It has two words, an accent on the second syllable. Implore. Implore means to plead urgently for aid or mercy. She implored her parents not to send her away to school. Implore. Implore. Next word is drudge er e. Drudge er e. It has three syllables and accent on the first syllable drudge. Drudge. Drudgery. Drudgery. Drudgery means unclean, dull, or hard work. The janitor normally ended his workday of drudgery by cleaning the toilet. Drudgery. Drudgery. The next word is interminable. It has five syllables. Accent on the second syllable, ter. Ter. Interminable. Interminable. It means unending. Being in the back seat of the car with her grandparents was an interminable experience for the little girl. Interminable. Interminable. The last word for today is perceive. Perceive. It has two syllables and the accent on the second syllable, perceive. Perceive. Perceive means to understand know and become aware of. Because people perceive beauty in different ways, one man's rose is another man's weed. Perceive. Perceive. Okay, there are five words we just have studied and then try to match the word with the definitions. The first word is badger. Badger. What is the definition of badger? Yes, it's E, to pastor, neck, annoy persistently. Badger. Next one is implore. Implore. And what is the definition of implore? Yes, it means C, to plead urgently for aid or mercy. Implore. Next one, drudgery. Drudgery. Yes, the definition is A. Unpleasant, dull, or hard work. Drudgery. Next one is interminable. Interminable. The definition is, is yes, B. Unending. Unending. The last one, perceive. Perceive. Yes, it is D. To understand. No. Become aware of. Perceive. Badger, implore, drudgery, interminable, perceive. Okay, there are five sentences, and each sentence has a blank, and find the right word for the blanks. She does her homework on Fridays to save herself from the blank of having to do it during the weekend. Okay, she does her homework on Fridays to save herself from the drudgery of having to do it during the weekend. 
Number two, the teacher continually blanked the pupil for the missing assignment. Say, the teacher continually badgered, or you can say badgers, badgered the pupil for the missing assignment. Number three, the eminent, eminent scientist blank difficulties in putting the invention into practice. The eminent, eminent scientist, yes, perceived difficulties in putting the invention into practice. Number four, the sick child's mother blanked the doctor to come immediately. Yes, the sick child's mother implored or implores or implored the doctor to come immediately. The last one, I listened to the boring lecture for what seemed to on blank 50 minutes. I listened to the boring lecture for what seemed on interminable 50 minutes. Okay. Now these are the five words we just have studied. Uh, let us try to uh, pronounce them just one more time. Batch er badger. Batch er badger. Badger. Im Implore, 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 implore. Drudge, er, e, drudgery, drudge, er, e, drudgery, drudgery. Interminable, interminable, interminable. Interminable, interminable. Perceive, 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 perceive. Okay, this there's a story uh, using the five words we studied, and let us read it together. The title: How not to get your way. It is difficult to change someone's opinion by badgering him or her. The child who begs her mother to get off her back when she implores her for some assistance with the household drudgery may very well plead interminably for some special privilege when she wants something for herself. How paradoxical that neither is able to perceive that no one likes being nagged. Okay, this is the conclusion for today's study. I will come back to you with another idiom and five words. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.